And a question for Tanya Evinger. You know, Tanya, going into this fight, you know, you're the underdog. Chris Cyborg is everything that, you know, we say about her. She's undefeated for 10 years. She's knocked out, you know, anybody and everybody who stepped in the octagon with her. But do you relish that role at all? Do you kind of like being the underdog and, you know, kind of coming into this fight where there's so much attention on her and, you know, you have the opportunity to, to shock the world? Uh, yeah, man, I think I'm the underdog every time. So it's just one of the roles I play. I seem to, to get the, uh, get the fans that, that don't think I'm a, as good a fighter as I am. And, and, uh, just to make a correction, I am also an Invicta world champ. So they didn't announce that at the beginning, but, um, I think that we're both just two dominating champions. I think there's a super fight and it's, um, it's a fight that, that could have happened a long time ago. And, and, and it's just definitely, uh, one to watch. And my final question, Tanya, without giving away any kind of strategy or game planning, but because Chris has been so dominant, no one has really been able to expose any weaknesses in her game. I don't. I couldn't remember the last time she's lost a round in a fight, maybe not since her debut when she lost a fight. Uh, but when you look at her, when you break down footage, do you see weaknesses? Do you believe you found weaknesses in Chris Cyborg's game? You know, I don't go in any fight thinking I, that, that my opponent has any weakness. I just go in there to to put my style out there and, and be offensive myself. And I did an interview actually, and they asked me that you've never had anybody actually come at you. Like she's going to come at you. But I think that she's kind of had that same role in, in all her fights too. She's been the most dominating one in her fight. So I think that we're both coming in this, uh, two strong opponents with the same similar style, but kind of complete opposite styles. So, you know, I, I think it's, uh, it's just one of them things. I don't really plan game plan for a fight. I, I kind of, I, I look where I'm strong and I look where I think that, that I can win certain rounds and stuff like that or certain positions. And, and I, I go about it that way, but the fight, you know, you never know what they're training or what they're changing. So I just go in with open mind and, and able to adjust where I need to.